Hello. <laughs> I'm being silly. So, guys, 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 girls, girls, guys. Um, I wanted to talk to you all today. Oh, so, so grab, look, this is my new one. My liquid diet isn't working so far. I've only lost three weeks. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And it's in the Tiffany blue. Okay, so basically, I have uh, gotten all ready, you know, to talk to you guys here before I go and chill, chillax. Um, but I wanted to talk to you about this show. And I had heard, you know, as usual, when the shows come out, they do all these reviews and it's da -da 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 -da. and you're thinking, okay, you know, that's all the hype. And then you try to get into it and you can't get into it and you try to get into it, but you can't get into it, you know, and, and I'm, there's a show and I'm not going to, I'm not going to name the show's name because I don't want to embarrass the show, but there is a show that I just came out recently and I can't seem to get into it. I mean, I actually fell asleep on it, but not this show. This is a new show that only has so far about six episodes this season. It's first season out. So far, it's like, I think on number six or so. And so it's new. So it's not too late for you to catch up to this show. But I, I mean, I heard some hype. I, I was thinking, okay, whatever. But I actually tuned into the show and I have been hooked ever since. So I want you guys to check out this show. Um, okay, I'm going to say the name. And when I say the name, some of you may say, aha, I'm hooked too. And then some of you will say, I've never heard of it. And some of you may say, I've heard of it, but just haven't had time to check it out. Let me tell you, you will be hooked. You will be hooked hooked so i i checked it out and uh the name of the show without further ado is called claws c-l-a-w-s like Beer. kitty cat claws um and you'll know it because the show when it comes on it always has these lips and what i love about the lips on the <laughs> the the i guess i want to say the cover uh, you know clip is that they're they have some lipstick on them I mean, the teeth have lipstick on them. So it's kind of like a messy, a messy mouth, you know, but it's sexy. It's a sexy mouth. Like, arr, I can't even do it, but it's a sexy mouth with lipstick on the teeth. And I, I remember, because I pay attention to details. I'm like, wait a second, there's lipstick on her teeth, but yet it's kind of cool and sexy. Yeah. Claws. I'm going to say you don't sleep on it. Um. Okay, I'm gonna talk just a little bit about it. I'm gonna just talk a little bit about it um, in general, but still, just in case I get carried away and too excited, I'm gonna say there are spoilers. Spoiler alert for the for the show Claws. So if you have not seen Claws, just eep your ear for a minute. Um, you know, if you don't even wanna know the general premise or the setup, I'm just gonna say the general premise of it, okay? Um, nothing more than what you would read when you're pulling it up, you know. Um, so basically, it's Claws is about, um, really, it's about a group of women. So it's about a group of women, um, and I'm not going to go into too much detail, but it's really, if you get to the meat, if I had to just break Claws down and get to the meat and potatoes of Claws, and what I'm going to do is start back from season one, and I'll do some videos of my take on each each season. I mean, not each season, each show, um, my thoughts on each show, because I just love this show. Um, but what I love about this show is the root of everything that happens, and there's a lot that happens. There's a lot of twists, guys. There's a lot of turns you may not expect. Um, but no matter what, at the root of everything, it is about sisterhood. It's about um, being friends. It's about your best bud. And I love the sisterhood feel of the show. Um, what I love about the show, and I'm going to speak in general terms because, again, I don't want to spill all the beans to people. Um, so I'm going to try to keep this as general as I can. Um, what I like about the show is it's quirky. Um, there's some moments that will make you outright laugh. I mean, 
I was not expecting to laugh, and I'm going to be honest with you, it's really hard to get me to laugh, um, you know, out loud uh, from a movie or from a TV show. You have really got to work hard to get me to laugh. And when I was looking at, you know, these things, I was like, oh my goodness, there was stuff that just out of the blue caught me, and I would start, ah! you know, doing my weird, crazy, I call it a guffaw, a crazy laugh that it comes out of nowhere. Um, um, but it had me laughing. It had me crying. I actually had tears in certain scenes where I literally was like, okay, I need something to dab my eyeball with here. Um, you know, you almost want to say, well, that's the onions. I was cutting onions, but I can't cook. So no one would really believe me if I said I was cutting up onions for what? Um, so it, it, it's it's like, I mean, it, it's you you're gonna run the gamut of emotions. You're gonna laugh. You're going, and also, um, I will say this: that part of the show, there is a nail salon that's there. And I'm not big on nails or getting my nails done, but I and but some of the stuff they were doing to the nails, I was like, whoa! I mean, you could really do that to a nail. I mean, I was amazed. I mean, it's like works of art. Um, so some of the clothing styles were outrageous, I thought, uh, <laughs> but there were a couple things that I was like, wow, I think I could rock that. If I do this with that, I could rock that. You know, the clothing style is a little, a little out there. Um, but again, that's, that's a testament to the people who, the costume designers, because the costumes, the, the clothing that everyone's wearing, and I'm not going to go into detail about too much of them their personalities, but let's just say the clothing matches the personality of the people. Um, so the hand, you know, excellent job to the people who actually designed the sets. I mean, I felt the sets, the where they were was real, uh, real settings. It, it, it there, and I'm not going to go into detail, but it had a a grunginess to it. it, it the the scenery and everything had kind of a grungy kind of. A, what shall I say? Seedy. It, it seemed some of the set design seemed kind of seedy, you know, like they, you know, that area of town or wherever, you know, is kind of a seedy area. Um, I guess you could say it's kind of, mm. so, um, so the set design was amazing. I mean, I really felt, wow, you know, this is what it must be like if I were to move and live in that area. This is what I would expect that area to look like. This is the way I expect the people to speak. This is the way I expect the people from that town to uh, talk and to dress. Um, I'm sorry, this is dripping on me and I'm thinking there better not be a hole in this because I just got it. <laughs> like I just got this. So if it has a hole in it, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Um, okay. So anyway, sorry, <laughs> there's another side. No, um, no, no, no. So, but basically I guess what I'm saying is I was blown away. The writing is very, very, very good. I felt for the characters. They're taking their time with fleshing out the characters. There's an arc to the characters' development. You can literally see the characters going through changes and developing. And there were some scenes that I, like I said, the scenes where I cried, I could actually feel myself in, um, you know, some of their places. I, I, I could feel, you know. And I'm not going to, you know, my next videos, I'll go into more detail about the, you know, each show, each episode and stuff like that. But for this opening thing where I just want you guys to check it out, because I like to be able to talk to more people about it. I love to hear you guys' comments. When I start doing my little reviews on it, I would love to hear what you guys think. And did you see something different than I didn't? And I really hope that this show um, gets enough support that they're able to continue, um, hopefully, you know, to keep on making more shows because I really want to see where these characters are going. And like in this short period of time, I can already see growth and changes and it, it's, it's just a quirky show. I mean, it's one of those things that grabs you and it won't let go. And you're sitting here like, but why am I coming back? <laughs> you know, um, you know, it's just, you don't think you would like it, but from, I'm telling you from the first show that I saw, um, I was hooked. 
and I was waiting. I couldn't wait for the next one. That's the type of feeling that I like to get when I look at different TV shows and movies. I want to be hooked, you know, and you know, there was a few things, a few shows over time where it may have taken the second show, you know, after the pilot, sometimes I'll give you that, that the show after the pilot, because I say, okay, pilot, you could be a little off. You're just trying to introduce the characters. Um, not much to see here, folks, move along. But this one started out, whoa, like with fireworks coming straight out the gate, and it has not stopped since. It has been nonstop, hang on the edge of your seats, you know, grab your, you know, whatever you got, hang on tight, you know, um, because this thing is going, I mean, and it is going at a very fast uh, pace. So it's, it's so much that's happened now. I keep thinking, well, what are they going to do? What are they going to say for next season? Because I mean, this season is unreal. Um, so it, you kind of makes you wonder, well, what are they going to do? Are they going to up the ante or they're going to be able to keep this momentum, you know, going? Um, so I, I'm, so excited about this show and so give it a shot it's called claws um you know um c-l-a-w-s <laughs> claws girls claws let's keep our claws in <laughs> i love that you know the claw situation so um but yeah i mean and like i said it's got it's got the main premise that i walk away from there's so much that happens and so many backstories and understories and everything but the thing that i always walk away from is it's about these women and their friendship and it's cool to see a group of women as diverse as what they put together all from different backgrounds and ethnicities and upbringings, I guess you could say. Um, and they put these women together and you really see um, th these friendships and how strong it is to have good friends, uh, good women friends, you know. And I always say, personally for myself, good women friends are, are very hard to come by. If you can find a good woman friend, who will be with you through thick and thin and you can really count on her and trust her you've got a friend for life and i remember i think there was a saying or something that said you know if you reach a certain age in your life and you can count on your hand five good friends that's all you need you know that's like all you need to see you through your life is those five good trusty friends and when i was younger um I remember thinking about that that saying and I was like five friends that's not enough you must be friendless <laughs> if you only have five friends I fool for you um, you know who only has five friends um, but what happens is over the test of time you find out who's your real friend and who's not you go through your changes you know you get married or have kids and this friend goes this way you go another way time sometimes not just them being a bad friend, sometimes time and life and circumstances, and you guys are going different pathways will, will sometimes cause you to lose friends. Um, not in necessarily in a bad way or anything like that, but it's just life, you know? And so if by a certain age, if you still got five good friends left with you and those friends, you probably know for 20, 30, 40, you know, 50, you know, 60, I don't know, 70 years or whatever, um, you know, that's amazing to have that type of history and to have that type of bond. And so a show like this, where it's about women, womanhood, and it's about a lot of other things too. But like I said, when I walk away from this show and you guys watch the show, let me know what you think. I walk away with it. it's mainly about these friends. It's mainly about their relationship. And yes, there's a lot of crazy stuff <laughs> that happens to them and that they get into and stuff happens to them. But I feel that it's about them pulling together and having each other's back, so to speak. Um, but like I said, I want you guys to start looking at it. Please look at it. Give it a shot. Um, I hate to see them not have any more seasons. Um, and I think it's a worthwhile show. Something about women and the friendships that we have and that we can develop with each other, um, I think is a beautiful thing to see. I really do. So enough of my soapbox about claws, about claws. <laughs> so check it out, check it out, check it out, ladies and gents, because it's not just about just that. It's a lot that goes on.
So um, yeah, but check it out and let me know what you guys think down below and I'll start, I'm sorry, here's my hand, down below. <laughs> and please 